Hello, today we'll discuss the multi-rate signal processing. We have seen that the single rate systems uh, are used whenever we have to sample the small system. Or we can say the single rate systems uh, in which the single samplings are used. What we have seen, we have seen the single rate sampling. In single rate systems, the single samplings are used. Where the data is very small, or that in order to process that data, we can use the single rate system. But whenever there is a discrete time system, discrete time systems, we have the data, big data is there and therefore in order to sample that data, the single system is not useful. We have to go for the multi-rate sampling. So the discrete time system in which we have to process the data at more than one sampling and that is known as the multi-rate sampling. Processing of data at more than one sampling is known as multi rate sampling. It is known as multi rate sampling. So whenever the discrete time systems are there, the data is very large and therefore we have to use the multi-rate sampling. So what are the advantages of multi-rate sampling? The multi-rate sampling advantages are in high quality data acquisition and storage system. high quality data acquisition and storage system. Second, it is also used in uh, audio signal processing. In audio signal processing, uh, a CD sample at, suppose we use the CD. In CD, the data is sample at 44.1 kilohertz, but in that, that means it's digital audio tape, it is sample at 48 kilohertz. And again, this is also used in a uh, speech processing. Whenever we have to process the speech, because the speech uh, is having too much data, speech processing, it is used, multi-rate sampling. It is also used in ECG and EEG analysis purpose. So these are the some applications of the multi-rate sampling. I will discuss the down sampling. So suppose the input signal is given to you X of N and it is having some signals and therefore if suppose you use the sampling rate and if you use the down sampling techniques then the sampling rate of a discrete time system discrete time system X of N can be reduced by by a factor M. 
so sampling rate of the discrete time signal discrete type time signal which is given generally by xfn it is having a huge data and therefore by doing the sampling xfn can be reduced by the factor m and the block diagram of this down sampling is generally denoted by like this this is your input x of n and this is your output y of n and this is your system down sampler system so this arrow pointing downwards is called as the down sampler and therefore the output of this down sample signal it is denoted by x of m of n okay so it can be represented by this and therefore this is a block diagram of the down sampler of down sampler now we'll consider one signal and we'll down sample that signal by simply keeping the every mth by keeping the every mth factor and removing m minus 1 samples removing m minus 1 samples in between the given sample suppose m is equal to 3 and therefore we have to remove the samples 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so we have to remove the two samples between the given samples so we can down sample down side or we can say down sampler the signal let us consider one signal uh, which is given like this mm, this is a one this one this one So this is the input suppose x of n and now we have to reducing the sample rate by the factor m and therefore suppose we have to sampling this rate by the sample x of 3n so we have to reduce this m minus 1 so there it is a 3 minus 1 is 2 so we have to keep this m sample and and remove these two samples keep the samples remove these two samples keep the sample remove these two samples keep the sample remove these two samples keep the sample remove this sample so therefore we can write the output signal like this this is a m factor we have keep we have removed this two again we have keep this two we have removed this two we have keep this two remove this two we have keep this remove this keep this like this so this is the your signal y of n which is equal to x into 3 of n so in this way we can down sample the given input signal now let us consider one example suppose example is given x of n is equal to it is a 1 minus 1 2 4 0 3 2 1 5 like this this signal is given to you and we have to find y of n which is equal to x of n of m for m is equal to 2 and when this is the we have to remove this factor therefore m minus 1 is equal to 2 minus 1 it means 1 so we have to keep the f m factor and remove the one sample between the sample so we can keep this we can remove this we can keep this we can remove this keep this remove this keep this remove this so therefore output we can write here directly without wasting any time 1 2 A zero to five like this. So this is the 
we have left one sample in between the samples of the x of n to generate the y of n thank you very much for watching this video